Well, that was sick. So this pack has 200 effects in it that will allow you to create an unlimited possibility of transitions. And I'm giving away all four free. But here's the catch. It's currently listed at $5. Now, if you want to help support the channel, you can just pick it up right now. But if you want it for free, all you have to do is watch this video. And as it goes along, there's going to be six letters to a 100% off discount code that will slide down from the top like this. That's your first letter. If you guys want me to do more videos like this in the future where I give away free preset packs and stuff, just click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments below. All right, let's show you how to use the pack. But first, I want to show you an example of using some of the effects in this effects pack. If I be honest, loving you the hardest thing to do, so I keep to myself. I feel like I'm falling in and out of consciousness. Yeah. Click the link down in the description below and that'll bring you to my store page where you can read all about this transition pack and kind of learn how to use it, but I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. Now all you have to do is click add to cart and then I'm running a sale, but you can just click no thanks. And uh, once you watch this video in full and you gather the entire discount code, all you have to do is type that in there and click apply and your total will be $0. Once you download it, go into Premiere and go to the Effects tab, right click on Presets and select Import Presets. Make sure you extract that preset file and navigate to wherever you downloaded it. I know I have a ton here, but this is the one that you'll see. All you have to do is click Open. And as soon as you click Open, you'll notice that Kyler Holland Presets popped up and then under Transitions, there is something called Text Animations. And now you can see that we have In, Out, and Effects. So let's quickly go over what these mean. All right, for starters, let's hit T on our keyboard and go down here and type something. I'm gonna do Kyler and I'm just going to center this. Let's make it a little bit bigger just so I can show you how this pack works. Hold Alt on our keyboard to duplicate that text layer and just drag it to the right. And the next one, I'm going to put my last name. So now I have this text that goes from Kyler straight to Holland. So how do you use this pack? Well, think of it in two separate variations where each one of these are equals. So the in is basically your in point on any text layer. So it's the starting point of your text layer. Like this is the second text layer, but it's the starting point of that. Your out is your out point on any text layer. So this is the out point on this text layer. So for example, all you have to do is cut this to any length that you want. I found that five to 10 frames works best. So if you hold the shift key and the left arrow key, every time you tap that left arrow key, it'll jump five frames. So that's five frames and that's 10 frames in that direction. And all you have to do is click C on the keyboard and make a cut. And then we're gonna do the same thing in the right direction. So shift, right arrow key twice, one, two, that'll jump 10 frames out in that direction. So now theoretically, I have an out point from this text layer right here and I have an endpoint from this text layer right here. This is going to be our transitional element right here. So now all I have to do is, let's say I wanna start with the out point, what do I wanna do now? You can go through here and play with all of these, but let's start with scale. Since I know my text is going from smaller to wider, let's do scale width. So all I have to do is scale width up. And this is a good point to explain that the plus next to each one of these effects is actually the intensity. So since I'm not going very far, all I have to do is drag on scale width up to the out point, And you'll immediately see that if I scrub through this, it starts to increase the size of Kyler. Now, I still want to increase the size of Holland, so all I have to do is go to the end point, since this is the start to my text layer, go to scale, and find the scale width up and try to match it with that same plus and drag that onto my endpoint of this text layer. Now, if you scrub through here, you'll see that it starts to scale up and Holland scales up as well. And if you play this back, it looks like this. It's just a simple scaling transition. Now these scaling transitions are pretty awesome. So if I do subscribe and I wanna increase the size of it a little bit, all I have to do is this. It's really awesome and it's fast. So you can kind of eyeball things too if you wanna work faster. I know that from Holland to subscribe, I want to increase the size of it. I'm just gonna click C and make a cut point there and make a cut point there. I'm not really counting. I just know that I wanna scale up. So the fun thing about this pack, like once you understand all the effects that are in it, you don't really have to like go through all these folders. In the top of the effects 
tab, all you have to do is type in scale up and that's gonna pop up every single thing in this pack that has scale up. So on my out point, which I typically start with since I'm on the out point of my first text layer, let's do scale up plus plus to see how strong that's gonna be. So I see I'm scaling up and it's it's almost scaling up to the exact size, so that's pretty good. So now all I have to do is on this subscribe, let's go to the in and drag the same scale up plus plus. Now the thing with this, the plus plus, it starts a little bit smaller. So it might not look the best, but I mean that looks pretty good. But you can also play around with it if you wanna drag the scale up plus, which is the lower intensity to it. So as it scales up, it's kind of the same size and it finishes it. So it looks like this. And that's pretty much it. Like to keep going on, all you have to do is make more text layers, change the text to whatever you want. If you wanna decrease the size of it and just kind of cut your transitions down. Just always remember that your first transition point is going to be your out point and your second one is going to be your in point. So let's close this, go to presets, Kyler Holland, transitions, text animations, and go to out and let's do VR, see what those do. And VR spin right out point right here. And let's go to the ends and go to VR spin right in right there and play that back. And you'll see that we have this really cool VR spin transition. Now it's super fast and easy to do once you understand all of these effects. My favorite ones are these scales, but you have a ton. I mean, you have blurs, displace, grids, lens distortion, rotate, scale, slide, and your slide, you even have corner slides. So the great thing is you can also stack effects. So now I have this scale down effect. All I have to do is let's say add a grid onto here. So I'm gonna open up both the grids and let's do a grid glitch on the in, which is right here. And let's do a grid glitch on the out. So now if I play this back, you'll see that it looks like this. And you'll just have to get creative and start playing around with these. Each one of these effects is also labeled at the end. So if you have a bunch of these open and it's all over the place, you'll easily be able to tell which one's an out point and an in point. The basics are just always make sure in is on the in point of a text layer and out is on the out point of a text layer. You can get creative and play around with these, but I'm gonna leave that up to you. For now, let's show you kind of another example of using all these effects, and it'll give you an idea of what's included in this pack. And keep in mind, keep looking out for those coupon codes that will be sliding down from the top just like this. Lastly, I just wanted to talk about effects real quick. All these effects in here are just simple drag and drop. So if you want smoke plus 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 and play that back, it creates a little smoky effect, which is kind of cool. You have strings. They all kind of do something different, like displace vertical. These are really great because if you just want to glitch out of the text for a little bit or like you have something going on, you can kind of create your own transitions and stuff. If you go Kyler Hall and subscribe or whatever, you could theoretically create your own transitions by like chopping these things up and creating some glitches or displaces on each individual clip. Like something quick like that. And now most of the effects are stackable. So say you want to offset horizontal, 
Well, you can also add the mirror effect on there as well. So then you can get some crazy stutter thing going on. All right, y'all. Well, that's all I have time for. This video took a while, so hopefully you stuck around and you found all six letters. Just download that pack. If you want me to do more stuff like this in the future, just let me know in the comments below, and I will get to it. But that was awesome. That's all I have time for, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.